Yeah, Scoop Dog. Okay. And then yep. K9. And then uh, K9. Yeah, I forget his name. He was a really, really good link, and he had a pocket fox, too. He took, him, it, took K9 to game three, actually. Was it Woker X? It was Woker X. Uh, I see he has the prefix BTLC, which I believe is the same uh, prefix as um, Torque Master. Torque Master. And yeah. Easy. And, yep. I so, think Easy might have changed his name, though. So from uh, Easy was the Rob player? From Mexico. Uh, from, from Tijuana. From Tijuana. Yeah. Mexico. But the, the, as close to the uh, like border like you, as you can get, but still Mexico. Mm -hmm. They were pretty much honorary San Diego, yeah, uh, San Diego when they were, when they were coming up at the time. They usually came up Super when close. the when the tournaments were hosting doubles. But looks like they're up here in MSM, just trying to take some names, steal some names over here. But right. actually, actually Canine went two one with Mega as well. The Incineroar. From oh yeah, he UCI, did. Yeah. He used, he was using Young Link earlier today, and then switched to Wolf Game Three when he was uh, feeling kind of his back to the corner. He's like. Need that eject seat right now. Mm -hmm. He's kind of pulling the the tweet card where you know he's just kind of switching between characters. He's enjoying what he likes, see what works and what doesn't. Looks like the young link wasn't quite working out. He's sticking to the wolf this time for yeah. first time in the I first mean, game. And here's the thing about Canine's wolf. Like Canine's wolf means business. This is the character that he plays when he wants to win. So this is a sign of respect to Shine, knowing just how talented he is and his DK. Also a master of multiple characters. But the reason I say that like the wolf is his money-making character is because he actually, he doesn't himself think that the character is very fun to play, but he's like, hey, it's a well-designed character. <laughs> like, I'm going to I'm gonna use it and abuse it. Yep. Already starting off with a pretty large amount of percent, 75 already. DK is just a very large hurt box, so you will be get caught yeah. by those back airs, up airs, and fairs. They just cover such a oh. wide arc, so it's easy to catch DK. K9 trying to end it prematurely a bit. He gets grabbed out of his up B, overextending past the ledge. That's going to be a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Try to do the platform ding dong there. Just barely not quite able to take out the stock. Let's see how K9 tries to seal the ledge here. Going for these forward smashes. Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist. Not quite going to work out this time, though. All right, back air right here, sending K9 off the stage. He's back at the ledge. What's Shine's play? He rolls back, he gets grabbed. Yeah, Wolf just uh, slowly approaching. I'm going to be able to get that grab one more time with the l rising up air. Catches him off stage, but he tries to get a little bit too aggressive instead of trying to return back to neutral. And then just K9 just sees that opportunity, that platform, just oh, in the dead? way. Yeah, yeah he's, he's super dead. <laughs> <laughs> that armor, very helpful. <laughs> we'll be able to seal out some stocks like that, kind of cheese your opponent out uh, of there. Just like that, Shine bringing it back to an even stock count. We're at two apiece. And... All right, Shine setting up the ledge trap right here, throwing out some neutral airs and trying to force K9 off the ledge. Luckily, he gets off Scott free and gets a combo for it as well. So much momentum in K9's favor right now. Woo! Yeah, very smart. Unbelievable. Yep, he had the dong punch available. That will be able to use armor to be able to seal out through yeah. that attempt at two. Really that smart play by do. Shine yeah. for sure. Not, <laughs> not going to matter too much, though, because he tries to land on him with the down special and gets a forward smash to the face for it. K9 just uh, cocking back. Spacing himself away and getting that KO. Yeah. Unfortunately for Shina, oh. he didn't quite react to the down tilt confirm to be able to get that trip, but he's still keeping up the control here. But yeah, just jump fair. That'll catch a tall character like DK very easily. Spot dodging through the grab, a down throw on the top platform. Looks like he tried to catch him with a forward smash or something like that. Trying to catch a oh. double jump. And yes, very nice stuff. That was super expertly timed by Shine, getting that down air, intercepting that uh, up B recovery, which is really tough. Um, Wolf does have a really big hitbox on his up special, uh, and a lot of the times people will actually get up, get hurt just standing at the ledge or trying to intercept that themselves. Yeah. Can I try to throw out the Wolf up B a little bit too early? Usually when you want to hit yeah. him before his foot comes out, and that's where the large hitbox is. So he didn't have it quite out yet. That dare would be able to beat it out. Yeah, so in, in essence, he would have needed to um, drop a little lower before using up special. Yep. Whoa. Not able to get that back air. That's a re-grab, but there There's it is. That, that, that large <laughs> foot hitbox. As soon as it comes out, then so difficult, even with a ledge re-grab like that, not oh, even getting a dead. trade. Yeah, he's but dead. that'll do it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he. I, I was going to say, like, even if it doesn't kill off the side, like, it just sends Wolf so far off stage that he's dead at, like, 30. Like, yeah. <laughs> he just can't make it back. Yeah. Uh, Shine, I think the few times that he's beaten K9, because uh, at least in Smash 4, he had a terrible record against K9. Uh, ultimate kind of favoring Shine a little bit more. I think a lot of the times, whenever he wins a set, it's because he gets those DK <laughs> throws, and it seals out the stock. Hits a, it, he, get, he gets his wolf off stage. 
Yeah, it's, it's done. It's like, well, it doesn't matter if the GG's. recovery can intercept <laughs> you if you can't even make it back to the stage, right? Yep. That that runoff there is just such a great setup. It sends you such an awful angle. It destroys characters like Richter, for example, that just can't get that horizontal acceleration up. All right, so K9 contemplating a switch. He's not going to do so, sticking to the wolf. I do like it. This is... Besides that offstage portion, which I per find a, to be a personal hell as a Wolf player, <laughs> I, I do think the matchup favors uh, Wolf not only um, on stage. I mean, he has the better frame data. He has the combos on such a big body. They're going to be really easy. I mean, just like that, 77, 86 percent. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those on paper versus human mistakes yeah. things because DK is definitely a character that can just munch on you because of that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and this percent damage isn't going to matter too much if we see another situation like that last stock in the last game recreated where he just gets put off stage and he doesn't have enough uh, distance to recover. Yeah, great parry. Going to be able to get a grab off of that. Now we're back in neutral. Can I just trying to figure out how to stuff him out? Yeah, just keeping away with the blasters. I like it. And as soon as he comes close, gets uh, pulls out that shield with that blaster and is able to put him back off stage one more time. Okay, I really love the patient gameplay that K9 is executing right now. Um, it's a, definitely a stark contrast from game one where he was going in a lot more. But the way he's slowly and methodically picking apart Shine, it's able to get him secure that stock with a really quick forward tilt, just punishing the landing. And look at that. He only has 82% on his stock. I spoke way too soon because uh, Shine <laughs> had the perfect percent to get that cargo up throw. Uh, combo and take him off the top. Oh man, that's a commentary curse if I've yeah. ever seen one. Alright, put that in the books, guys. <laughs> but anyways, here we go. <laughs> I think a big thing that K9 <laughs> is doing better on this game especially is that he's using that four tilt and the spacing on that down smash. He's spacing a little bit further away from the ledge now, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for DK to really intercept him. So he's staying right outside and using that maximum range that Wolf has, especially with that four tilt. Very critical cool tool for him. Oh, I was going to say he's going to go for third one. There it is. A little delayed, but he does go for three forward smashes. None of them connecting, but putting the fear in Shine's heart. Yeah, it's a very safe move. So why oh, not? Oh, Up smash. Dude. Oh, oh, no, dude. not quite. He's still going for it, though. The down throw. Squeeze him. He should be able to make it back here. Does Wolf Flash to the ledge. Fortunate for K9. Yeah. Piece him out with the air to air on the nair, but the up tilt. Yeah, that'll be able to seal it out. Up tilt. Really strong, potent kill option. Um, pretty much like a really quick up smash. Doesn't hit on both sides quite, but it's uh, a little bit quicker. So Yeah, especially in this game where yeah. you usually want to try and land with an aerial to start a combo. It's very critical to be able to just keep, make sure your lead does not slowly fade away. Another back air shield. Looked like it poked that time around. K9 yeah, kind of was sticking in shield a little bit too long. Definitely interesting that he had gotten that back air. Because he actually landed on the ground, charged a little bit, and then threw out another back air. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay. We take those. All right, those Nairs oh, doing a yo. good job. Try to catch a roll in, I think. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All righty. <Wow. laughs> he just flew off stage. Wow. All right, well, K9 evening out the set count right here. One game apiece. Shine may be thinking about a character switch right about now, but probably not. I, I would say this is probably the matchup we're going to see for, for the rest of the set, but you just never know with yeah. either of these players, honestly. I wonder if Shine is going to do a character change. Not quite. Okay. Nah. Uh, I know that K9 banned the run back. I saw his lips that said Battlefield. I feel like he might have banned Smashable too, just because Wolf wants a little bit of a wider range, especially if you have that laser and just the way you play. If you're just being patient and trying to space away from a character like Donkey Kong, trying to make him come to you rather than him already being there in your presence. And K9 off to another really strong start. 94% already, all because he baited Shine into that grab attempt and just jumped over it with a forward air. That combo starter was enough to get him all this damage right here. Dash attack, catching the take chase out. Does all right, 17% so? only on K9, dude. He's like doing so hot right now. Mm -hmm. All right, but this is this is where it starts to fall apart. Not quite. Oh, he tried to find the grab there, but just going to be able to roll back to safety. And I like what K9 is doing. He's trying to wait for Shine to press a button first and then be able to counteract that instead of trying to intercept him in the middle of it. Usually he'll just space right outside the range of like a dare or a forward dare that a DK is trying to do to try and make it back to the neutral. Okay, up throw into the neutral air. Shine racking up a little bit more damage, but K9 only at 73. This may be the perfect percent, though, for him to get that up throw uh, up air off the platform. We'll see. 
Yep. Playing a little bit definitely of, looking for it. Mm -hmm. Playing a little bit of cat and mouse, and he's even using the B reverse lasers to make sure that <laughs> Chine is getting stuffed on his approaches. Very smart oh, stuff. There it that is. Should be able to do it. Oh. Not quite the percent though. Yeah, just outside of it, mm -hmm. or may, uh, maybe a little bit too high, a little bit too low, not quite sure. Yeah, the platform ding-dongs especially, they're very precise on their percent yes. ranges. You can do it. Oh, but a back air just cacking him, jumping out of shield. All right, this is Shine's opportunity to bring it back, forcing him into shield, the empty jump into the grab. K9 just getting so much mileage off of uh, empty jumps, just mm -hmm. like baiting out a reaction, whether it's shield or grab. Uh, he can punish those accordingly and get so much damage on, on DK no being such jump. a big buddy. Oh, yeah. yep. Very smart. No double jump available. He already caught him trying to jump to the stage and he just clipped him there. And yeah, just one direction that DK could pretty much go after that. So he's able to get stuff it out with an air. And another big combo potentially. But not able to get that juggle, but still. K9 being a little bit more safe and just uh, keeps up with the spot dodges and just trying to get away from whatever Shine tries to punish with. And this is Winner's Quarters Finals, so this is our last uh, stock for Shine before dipping into the loser's bracket. Yeah, well, we'll have to see. Can bring DK it back. can bring it back, yeah. potentially, but we'll just have to see oh, because Kenai playing with a lot of momentum right good. now. Yeah. Oof. Right, both players whipping grabs, though. Yep, back to back. Not able to find anything. The less traps, though, very difficult to get around. He finally has some control. He's trying to get him back, but... This is difficult, not finding the air-to-air, -air, but that's a big opportunity, but Yo. he just gets faded out. Down smash, Yo. of course. Very safe move. Spot dodge, <laughs> down smash. He down smashed, spot dodged, and then down smash.